Hey, everybody. Full Spectrum Cycling. This is show 249, the show after the show. Ah, yeah, yes. that was a that big show. Tony just hipped me to the fact that something happened in yeah, the export, and it's all echoey. Live in Pompeii. I think we can, I can fix that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I hope so. Some sort of uh, weirdness. I had to take one for the team and listen to it, but it was like, Well, I oh, did man. listen to the whole thing before it got exported, and then something happened, so I don't know. All I know is that uh, El Rongo sounded pretty good. On yes, the, uh, on for the, sure. The, the video and all that. So and thanks, Jeff and Mars, because those guys rule. Extra thanks from keeping the volume down for the first set, so Daniel could sit there and be enthralled by Jeff's playing. That he was pretty cool. Like music soothes it, it the was savage amazing. beast. It was amazing. It was like he just had ran, his head all cocked to yep, the side. He, he ran like, nonstop ah. until Jeff played his first riff. And <laughs> oh yeah, it was all chair. over the stage beforehand. Yeah. Oh yeah. He oh, sat oh, in that chair and didn't budge. Did you see the spot where he hit the table and was like, boy, yo, 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 yo. That was pretty good because he came up and the camera was all like, do, 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 do. Great. It was good. Cool. Uh, yes. Here we are in the, well, newly rearranged studio. I'm not even sure it's going to stay this way, but we got JK. Hello. It's slimming this way. Is it? Oh, good. I don't know. Nice. Well, I, I need all you can get. Uh, Tony with the glasses over there. Yeah, I love my glasses Look how cool he is. Uh, back, so in, cool. back in the back 40, um, Hunter sitting back there uh, observing. And we got... This is Brett right here. Brett's, hello, uh, hello. Brett's got some stuff to talk about in a little bit. And, uh, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I, I guess the idea is Hunter doesn't talk, and he's, you do, right? He's the he, muscle, man. Just coach. You're the muscle. The muscle. There we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> Blink twice if you're safe. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start today. Well, I want to uh, – the picture that Tony sent, did you see that with the uh, – the van move. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what the so hell? I, did, I did take a full look at it too, and you're right. That All was, the electronics are removed. Right. So that's I, under the the library. Yes. Covering, which Jeez. I will have the picture in the show notes. But the deal is, which I'm going to put a TV here so we can put that on there later. It's going to be cool. Um, I think the place where the lock was going into it was the button it used to push to make changes yeah. to stuff or something, but. <laughs> it is the goofiest thing in the world. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he has put an A bus lock through it, and then you can clip it to the side. It's absolute. I'm like, okay. All right. It's uh, probably a pretty reasonably light bike as a single speed <laughs> setup with all the guts and the batteries removed. I was yeah. just like, how is that thing not going to? Have a fold issue in, at fold one point. on itself. I and then at point. first, I pulled up. I'm like, who would leave a Vamut locked out? At UWM overnight because it was there yesterday when I left work, and then I took a close look at him like, "Oh, this is awesome!" <laughs> well, yeah, so they, they, they had to stalker. be one of the people that got they, <laughs> they, yeah right. They got bricked. They so got they screwed. Couldn't yeah, exactly. Do anything. And so if you, I was like, "How does the seat post go through there?" But it's got a hole in the back of it. Dear Liza, it's dear weird. Liza. But so they just took the whole. It's the guts of the uh, the electronics part, not the battery. Right, Apparently, right. the battery's in the down tube. I yeah, guess, whatever. So I'm sure they yanked that out too. But you know, your McLaren folks bought the company, so maybe come back. Maybe, maybe they'll do something. They're I like, come back. I signed up for their thing to tell me when <laughs> they're going to do something. Right. Oh, you're in the know. Could be like it says, seven uh, oh, years. Email by the way, notifications at all times. I forget what they call Do you called. want the push ones? Oh, yes. They had a warranty or a, a service thing called, like, we're super good guys and you should love us or something to that effect. And McLaren's like, to make the company sustainable, we will not be honoring those warranties. <laughs> <laughs> of course they won't. And, like, they missed a major, you know, PR thing by saying – Hey, I know you guys got fucked, but we're going to take care of you. Right. How we are money, McLaren. A, we are super wealthy. How much money do they have? Right. Billions of dollars? Maybe you could just suck it up and pay the whatever. Yeah. Pittance. A few on. millions that it's going to cost you. The bigger the PR you, you get. Could, <laughs> right? They fucked up. Yeah. Happens. Yeah. It's big business. Yeah. So, I don't know. Can McLaren bring him back? I don't know. We'll find out when they email us, I guess. Um, if. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you guys think of the, the party? Was it good? I had a great time. Yeah. That was awesome. That was good. I especially had a great time if I looked at my uh, amorphic bill again because whew, it was a big one. Was uh, it? 
Mine wasn't. I had a lot yeah, mine fun. wasn't that big. My yeah, wife felt like, pretty good. She really found the oh, I, yeah, she really liked the cider. That's all I'm going to or the oh. seltzer. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're paying seltzer, for, But I will, but I will, uh, I will take another comment about that offline. You because were it's just not no, appropriate okay. Right well, now. no, buying for two <laughs> no. is. I actually more well, sticker shock than you're. I'm used I know. to. <laughs> when I had he, helped Damien out, and oh God, let's. Sorry, I'm going to digress forever because Damien's food was so good. I mean, everybody's food was great. Yeah. yeah. But those damn arancinis. Oh, yeah. I, and there were uh, tiny little there was suckers. No, there, there were none left bites. at the end. They were like the two bite. There were uh, none left because like there should not have thing. been any oh, left. But arancini. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was just like, awesome. it was like, it was like an Italian, <laughs> as he would have called it, it was an Italian arancini, not a Sicilian Oh, arancini. yeah, not the softball size right, like the right. Gloriosos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. which I really like. So. Yeah, they and Damien's are good, too, at, at yeah, you know, Scardinas. Yeah, Scardinas. Like, yeah. We get those quite a bit. So that helped. But, yes, that was a really fun time. I kept trying to push money at Damien, and he kept saying, don't worry about it. I'm like, nice. <laughs> okay. I did give him. We're something very nice for him. He wanted a Roadrunner bag like you have, so I gave him a, a Roadrunner hip pack, which it certainly didn't cover the bill, but he's, you know. It's an appetizer. <laughs> he is such a good dude. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. He, he took care of us for sure. He had so much fun in the River West 24. It was hilarious. First time doing it. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Made me be his team captain. I'm like, I'm solo now, dude. He's like, oh, No, please. come on. Aren't you going to do it again? I remember running into you during the yeah. race at the yeah. beginning of that. I'm like, okay, here you go. <laughs> I totally think you're going to be captain again. I, I already, he's already asked me to be. I'm like, yeah. well. You might as well. You know? And just make sure that they know to stop at bonuses because I yeah. think I think Damien was kind of on board, but a couple of the other guys were just ripping laps. It's yeah. like that's great, you're going fast, but <laughs> you gotta so stop. Yeah, you'll get a lot more points if you yeah. don't yeah. do that. Man, you've right? been able to finish the River West in the top tier, doing hot laps and. A long time. Yeah, no, no, no that's yeah. been. Yeah, like that's that going no 12, 14 not, not years since back. Like the cutting crew or those yeah. jackasses from Chicago. Yep. <laughs> the guys from Minnesota. There was all kinds Wherever of wherever they're ones. from. Yeah, whatever. You don't get a <laughs> whole anyway. lot of out of towners much anymore, do you? Well, oh, remember when the um what the one year uh, the guy came in after like moving like an apartment. Like the contents of an entire apartment. He's like, oh, yeah. And he, um, uh, he was like Russian. The Russian guy on your team. Oh, the right. aer- the aerospace engineer? Yeah. What was <laughs> it on Tony's team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was his name? A uh, skinny kid? Oh, was- Yuri. Yuri. Yeah, yeah. Yuri Zobachev. You're right, Russian kid. I should have put <laughs> that together right away. Yeah. That's what he now lives in Arizona in some big mansion. Yeah, he worked for like astrophysics. <laughs> yeah, or somebody he, like he that. went to he went to yeah aeronautics initially. And but yeah, the guy was just a crusher. The funniest thing about him is boom. we built him that nice <laughs> soma smoothie. He threw a bunch of carbon parts on it because he wanted to be cool, and now he drives a Harley. <laughs> so he's yeah. lo- I've lost all. I'm Isn't you're you're listening. Dream, Sorry, man. dude. Yeah, you don't get yeah. to have a Harley and be a weight weenie at the right, same time. Right, exactly. Sorry, dude. Don't work like that. Uh-uh. Carbon fiber Harley would be kind of cool, though. Okay. No Harley Batman would be cool. Right Carpet fiber. No, carpet fiber. No, <laughs> I don't. Harley. No. Well, it almost sounds like... Uh, How do we digress into Harleys? Let's talk uh, about the rock, the Rockabilly Chili. Because of off. Yuri. Because yeah. Russia... We got to talk about... We got to get that in. And we got to get this, this ride in. This platform as well. Alley cat sticks. We've only been doing this for like six minutes, so we got oh, really? plenty of time. Oh, six minutes. Lot fat, six long minutes. Just time time much six minutes. Real. Yeah. Probably because uh, uh, of the solar uh, eclipse uh, yesterday. Uh, 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 uh. I looked into the sun. We Yeah. Same. I, well, I mean, just to like, you know, get my bearings. but We all know this is a sign from God. Damn MGT day. told us that. It was bright. <laughs> she told us this is a sign from God. Yeah, looking I mean, directly in the, the sun. The eclipse is a sign so from God. We need to repent. I wish she would have done it. Yep. I, I think she. I think no, she knows what's re- coming out of her mouth and says it anyway. Oh, I absolutely it's guarantee long, it's all for publicity. <laughs> she doesn't believe two thirds of the shit she says is my belief. I don't believe half the shit I say. But well, I, I don't, don't say, say anything. Really dumb shit like that. It's oh, performance man. theater. We all yeah, know man, this. It's, it's not what you believe. It's how many tickets you sell these days, right? man. Yeah, for all sure. Right. Speaking of how many tickets we're going to sell, let's <laughs> let's uh, let's just touch on this uh, this alley cat. Just we can always come back to it too. But yeah, true. Brett's here. Hunter's here. This is the thing. Yeah. It, we'll have a picture of this on the show notes. Whoa! But uh, <laughs> it's the Green Mile, a yep. four twenty 
Alley Cat, which I assume is on April 20th. Why, it by indeed. cracky it is. It says there something. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. God, it'd so, be confusing so if do, it wasn't. Do tell. I mean, is it like an MMI style thing? That's or? the idea. We are trying to resurrect some semblance of the MMI. You know, it has been a good long time since this city saw a real messenger style Alley Cat. Uh, and, you know, since 420 falls on a Saturday uh, and happens to actually there's a wonderful legal loophole that leaves this wide open as an option. Why not go for it and see if we can kind of build a bridge between the scene that used to be and all these 20-somethings that are running around out there now? There's 20-somethings right. out there? Allegedly. They're going out to alley cats like crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. Awesome. It's, it's kind of impressive. We actually had to do the 21 and up because apparently there's like high schoolers getting into this shit all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like we see them at Truly Spoken coming in like with bikes thrashed after the first Fridays. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, right. they are pumped about this. So that's kind of cool uh, for what comes next are, in the scene. Are these the same kids that don't know the, the rules to a mosh pit? I hope not. Okay. I hope mm, not. Uh, mosh pitting does have rules. I it know. Does. Sometimes the one of them is, do some, not remember. Some, one of them is don't piss me off. Right. Yeah, I'll well. tell you that. Much. Sometimes they're broken, and sometimes like, your well, shirt is going to get split yeah, when I pull you. There's a little bit Dude. of street justice out there if you break, <laughs> yeah. if you break the mosh <laughs> pit true. rules. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. I um, the, the first mosh pit that I'd seen in a long time was Robits at the, uh, the Flat Out Friday party at uh, Fuel. I hadn't seen a mosh pit in a long time where that people are at, actually mosh pitting. At uh, mm-hmm. uh, Daikaiju. Well, Daikaiju. Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, we were at all there. X-Ray. That was, yeah. Ah, that was a long yeah, time ago. It was just ago. like this That was my just birthday kept underpants, guys. Yeah. That was like no. one of the best days yeah. in my Dude, life. Dude, you're doing it wrong. Years well, ago. <laughs> Get your ass in there. Get out there, man. Yeah. Don't keep hitting me. Tony. Hit the people in there. I mean, this is Are you going to the top of the hill already? I haven't hit the top of the hill. Top of the hill. Top of the hill, top oh of the boy. AVB, he, he's AVB be, hill. He's going to be top of the ABV and with the Voodoo Ranger Imperial. Let's do it. Uh, whatever the hell that thing is. That's that's the that's the these most boozy. Harsh. Yeah, Ooh. these are stuff. We're fluffing it with hams. Thank yeah, you very much. That was you the, can uh, fluff that with your hams. But. All right, so I digress, or did. Um, more of the uh, the Green Mile. The Sorry, green I mile. jumped into that. That's ah, all right. It's a bit of a, it's it's a, a fluid a situation. It's out a here. hodgepodge. It's the after, name of the game. After the shenanigans last week, well, this is pretty tame. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, the, the idea is to uh, do a good old-fashioned alley cat. You know, some twists, some turns, some really cool prizes, a bunch of local sponsors. You know, Looks like it, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, you know, we've tried to do our due diligence and call in all those uh, favors that we've been accruing over these years. So starting over on uh, Vienna, where, where are uh, gathering place? Uh, oh, right on. Yeah, okay, I, our, I'm like it's right down the block. It's literally right there. <laughs> well, we have we have. <laughs> that two, sounds like we have two breweries within a block yeah. of each other here. No, like, um, it sounds like Keefe, but I, I'm in my head. I'm thinking it's Wells. <laughs> you know, I'm having that yeah. okay. breakaway start. <laughs> no, like, that would be cool. And I, well, no, I, I, like, that was in my head when yeah. you're saying the. Uh, and I, I do yeah. think that you know maybe. Uh, once upon a time, messenger offices might sneak into bonus checkpoints. If you know, you know, and you will be rewarded for that knowledge. And listening to this, yeah. we'll give you these. But, you know, da, 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 details da, da, to be released on race day. No yeah. 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 The only way. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but, no, the idea is, yeah, kind of split the difference between an MMI as well as maybe a little more straightforward just scavenger hunt checkpoint thing. Sure. Uh, you know, the core of our event is... Riding around town, uh, collecting the ingredients, you need to roll a joint. And all of the goods <laughs> that you will need will be furnished by Sense Gifts. You will get a rolling tray, a grinder, papers, tips, lighter, and as many other Ow. bits and bobs as we need to create enough checkpoints, as well as an eighth from Three Tall Pines, uh, one of our lovely Wisconsin hemp growers here. Right, on. that's the Look hemp. That. Yeah, so uh, explain. I mean, the loophole thing. I we were delta eighting, then we were delta nining, and yes. then we were now a new version of delta nine. But it's not delta it's nine. Not until, quite delta nine. Right. So where do these um, nuances come in that we can actually get high? Yep. Uh, off of hemp. <laughs> off of you know. I mean, I'm a gummy guy, but I don't mind well, smoking the flower. You know, I'm not. I'm not a vape guy. I don't like that stuff. Yeah, that no, I'm not such a fan of the cartridges and most of the iterations of vapes myself either. Um, vapes give me that, like smoking a yeah. a cigarette with the filter on, just that chemical it's burn. Stuffy and chemically, and not my cup of tea. But uh, all right, so uh, if you'll uh, if you'll indulge me, a uh, brief history lesson. Please this do. This was yeah. all kicked off uh, with the 2018 Farm Bill, 
And it's one of the only good things that came out of that administration. Is that the a, Walker nonsense? Uh, no, that was federal, actually. That it got was, kicked all the way up we, to the we, federal. He who we will not name. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm squeeze the... Uh, I'm squeezing right here, right? <laughs> Yeah. I'm multitasking with my brain and my Good. vision. Yeah, I'll use mechanic hands. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that's how you do that. <laughs> yeah. well, it, it, mechanic it, hands. It sure does look like, uh, it looks like Bud. Yeah, it does. It looks like Marilyn, uh, for sure. You know, it quacks like a it duck. Smells like Bud. <laughs> uh, Let's see if it smokes. Maybe like we one. should smoke well, the Bud. You know, we could roll one up. I wouldn't be against that at all. Um, yeah, that boy, that's uh, that's got some aromatic aroma. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so in 2018, the government... Sponsored and greenlit the first government-backed guaranteed hemp grow. So all the farmers went through a rather lengthy application background check process, got the crops in the ground. Then government got cold feet and was like, oh, never mind. And then all the farmers got together with their lobbyists and were like, hey, guys, you can't pull the rug out from under us like that. So they kicked it all the way up the chain in a very hasty fashion and drew a very firm line in the sand as to what was hemp and what was cannabis. And the only difference between the two is the content of Delta 9 THC. And according to that law, anything under 0.3% Delta 9 THC can technically and federally be considered hemp. And the first iterations we saw of that were your D8 and your D10, your minor cannabinoids, the kind of siblings of Delta 9. Delta 9 is the heavy hitter. That's sure, sure. the real one. Uh, Delta 8 is most commonly found in sativa, so it's a lighter high. Delta 10, indica, if my memory serves me correctly, a little heavier. We now, in the industry... Uh, as long as you're willing to push the gray area and you have a grower that knows his stuff are focusing on THCA flower, in all cannabis or hemp, all forms of THC, THC delta 1 through 11 or 12 or however far it goes, starts off as THCA. And as the plant matures, it naturally decarbs, decarboxylates into all of the various forms of THC. However, about 30% of cannabis strains, it all stays as THCA, as well as cannabis harvested early. If one was so inclined, you can also harvest cannabis early, flash freeze it, send it out, have it evaluated, have it pass the test, and get it certified. But good growers don't do that. Good growers do their homework and actually breed reliable hemp genetics. So THCA flower is a wonderful, stable, natural thing that is legal until you expose it to over 180 degrees heat. That's when THCA becomes everything else. So uh-huh. until this is on fire, it's completely legal. Oh. After that, less so. It's well, <laughs> but then it's ash. So what do you? Yeah. What do you do? So the I evidence mean, is gone, man. Right? Huh? <laughs> so we're towing the line what, pretty hard. What would it? Yeah, as you say, what would it turn up on a drug test? You would fail a drug oh, test. Oh, that's yeah. what I mean. Yes. Yeah. You absolutely would fail a urinalysis or hair test as a result of this. Um, honestly, God, I never have to do one of those. Yeah, yeah, fuck all that, man. Remember, um, I'm a state employee, okay? <laughs> so much. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Be that as it may. <laughs> Be that as it may, yes. So, yeah, well, this is more so this is more structure. history and explanation than yeah, I've heard. Yeah, this because, is actually fantastic. So, I you mean, guys, you guys know Guy Mc. Awesome over here in the oh, building yeah. right next door, Nate. Yeah, we actually Nate. got together with him, and they are one of our sponsors. So the he RCC was will try- be a part of our lovely event. He was trying to explain it to me, but he, he wasn't very good. He was like, ah. he, sometimes he was like, well, we got it tested, and we're supposed to burn all this, but it just seems like a shame to burn it all. <laughs> so we're just going to, like, give it to friends and stuff or whatever. It's like they're trying you know, to and- they're trying to dial in their, you know, their whatever, whatever this is. Here. I yeah. think it was just uh, double talk for selling weed to people. But. It smells like weed. <laughs> oh, she gets the job done. Let's see if she tastes double, like weed. It's a double paper. Right on. Yeah, it's a little, a little stuffy. Yeah. It's... Yeah, oh, you, yeah. yeah. You guys want to go for it? I'll, uh, I'll chef something up real quick. Yeah, um, that's good. Let's get rid of this part here. But, uh, yeah. No, I mean, there honestly, uh, a lot of us stoners are shooting ourselves in the foot by not having... Taking our chemistry lesson. I mean, I uh, currently work at Sense Gifts on Center Street, and I took that job looking for the most slackery job I could think of. So the fact that homework and a light understanding of chemistry and uh, a minor in legal issues found me anyway is pretty humorous. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> Sense, you know more Sense than you on Center you know. is one of my go-tos that has top yeah. papers, and I need my top papers. Dude, I mean, honestly, 
There are some contexts, like a good spliff or like a tough to roll joint. Tops is the only way to go. I'm just saying. Yeah, all these I, hemp fibers and this and that. Eh, tops has stood the test of yeah. time. Well, I mean, I know it, it's bad. like going through a... It's like uh, Christmas for Tony over here. Uh, <laughs> you know, like a cigar shop. Yeah. You know, at times, at places. Where yeah. it's like, uh, okay, Come on. you don't have tops. What's the closest thing you have to it? Oh well, we blue, have this blue bugle. Or... No, no, well, but they they send you in the wrong direction. They send you in the place that ends up being like the rice paper. I'd get a spring roll that's from. That's not it. And I'm just like, dude, no, 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 no. Right this is that all. e saying, not from a cigarette, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want a spring roll, man. I wanted a joint. <laughs> Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. Yeah, it's like drinking liquor. Gets a thumbs up from me. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. It's only 9%. Oh, it, I mean, it's, it's, only drink, it's totally it's, drinkable. It's a terribly it's, drinkable. It's, it's barely wine. <laughs> barley right. wine. Oh, barley oh, wine. Man. Barley wine. Uh, like the old. thing is, it doesn't taste like it's all alcohol and you just want to slam this shit. Cause right? No, That's no. the problem. <laughs> man. Thanks for the new bog. We, we only have... Three cans of this, or can't yeah. get too destroyed. If, uh, if you'll indulge me, a brief messenger story. I've got a little barley wine anecdote for you. So, 2017, we hosted the NACCC North American Cycle Career Conference right here in Milwaukee. I watched it. And yeah, it was a good time. The uh, NACCC, love... that's a sanctioning body right there. Yeah, Bike Messenger Olympics, man. Uh, but anyway, the Pabst Brewing up on the hill there, when they were still there, was lovely enough to host us, and they donated. Kegs of barley wine as the free beer uh, oh, that charted Jesus in Christ. over ten percent. Not understanding what was going to happen when you told bike messengers it was an open bar for oh. barley wine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it it was a hell of a night. I That's bet cool. Some people were hurting. Yeah, that was a rough day after. That, that stuff kicks in <laughs> hard, man. I'm not a. I used to like it when I was young. Yeah, because that was at um at Landmark an import night. Okay. Like one of the last beers left was Old Nick, and it yep. was like just a gnarly barley wine. Gnarly no, barley. Nobody well, wanted. Come in at what like twelve five something, <laughs> something like that. Um, I it's like it was like Malort. I, I ended up having like oh hey I can love, deal with that. I love Malort. Well, well yeah, Sam, but I had Sam a, Adams had that blue bottled gold leaf barley wine that they sold that was just brutal. Mm. <laughs> this is weird with the mic on. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, I know. I never had the audio. It's be a weird show note. Well, I never we had... don't have to finish this. This is no. the only size joint I know how to roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's a megaphone, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's, uh, let's while, while we're uh, waiting for the completion of the joint rolling, let's just talk about the sponsors of the Green Mile. Yeah. Three Tall Pines. Three Tall Pines, our lovely hemp growers right out in Plymouth, Wisconsin, doing a fantastic job. I like Plymouth. That's on the way to Road America. So yeah. It's an awesome so, place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Daily Bird. Yep, yep. Center Street's favorite I remember coffee shop. On, they, they did one of these here on April 1st. So there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, we buy records. Yep, yep, yep. Another Center Street sponsor. Nope. Yeah. Looking out um, for the community. Did they buy CDs too, do you think? I th- Allegedly just records. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, look at, there's a few records. Those are, yeah. some. those were my dad's records from okay. about you know, I might buy them ago. from you. Cool. Some of them actually <laughs> still have grooves that make music. Some of them look been like sandpaper might have been on them or well, something. They'll still last longer than CDs, man. Oh, those I, I tell you what. drifting away. That's you know, CDs work. will last longer than MP3s because the next freaking uh, nuclear blast is going to take out all I thought it was going to yeah. be yesterday at 208. Yeah, <laughs> we were going like, to totally lose. Yes, yes. I cool. see that we're all Hunters, saved from Hunters, the rapture. Yeah, we Hunters actually, making a contribution. <laughs> yes, we've got a few more sponsors on the books that oh, okay. uh, did not quite slide onto the flyer just due to trying to get it out there. Right on. So um, let's. So we're still with Kind Oasis. Yep, Kind Oasis. Hell yeah. Uh, that, no, that weird, you tell? truly spoken. Oh, kind, yeah, Kind Oasis. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Truly spoken. That's a clever name for a bike shop, isn't it? <laughs> we do try. Do you remember that that was the first bike shop in River West? Yeah. yeah, back yeah, in I the do. olden times when you, we Akon can, was still we could go actually back to living a, in Milwaukee. We could go back to a previous podcast where we can talk about how Aton used to work for my father-in-law, rest in how, story, and how and I, got my bike back. Remember my, my belt trap? All right. Yeah, you know He's what? It was, when it was at that, that shop. That's Actually, kind of keeps his Wait, no, it was at the new that. shop with it by that time. But I Hunter, are you itching to talk now? 
Like I don't talk. <laughs> I don't. I'm not talking. No, but he's just giving me I'm, the I'm updated giving some stuff over here. list. Okay, more sponsors. Uh, all right, uh, I don't know what that one is because I can't read. So Left. can I? That is a lovely cannabis infusion cocktail bar down in Walker's Point. Yeah. Full bar and coffee Full bar. Full bar. Any okay. sort of drink your heart could desire. Uh, sense gifts. We talked. Sense and, gifts. And, and of course, Fitchburgers, which yep, is yep, the yep. greatest. I wouldn't call it a hardware store as no. much as a. It's like an eclectic thing. Yeah. Variety store. Yeah. All right. I mean, records, repairs, whatever. Yeah, gear it's sort you of need. weird. It's and like, if I'm not mistaken, Sarah was uh, the Sea Hag in old Brew City Bruisers. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. She came off as a sea hag. And just because eclectic things make me very happy, I do need to mention our buddy Sav up in Decora with his sh- cardboard robot store. That, that is pretty cool. There's no way that River West would not embrace a cardboard robot if he yeah. said, hey, Greg, why don't you open a cardboard robot in River West? Because it's all the shit you used to like. Estes Rockets. You know, oh, shit nice. to build That's shit with. Rockets. Maybe you want to color through. something. Maybe it's just all sorts of good old fashioned shit you did when you were a kid stuff. Yeah. And it's kick ass. Cardboard Robot Decora, Iowa. They are on the web. I think it's cardboardrobot.com, probably. <laughs> Sav, I hate you. You should probably never talk to me again next time I come. <laughs> that would be very good. Thank you. Sorry, boys. No, jeez, fuck. Oh, we got ambiance so, now. <laughs> who are the other the other sponsors? So the other sponsors are, um, Andre, you want to unlock this one last time? So we'll keep going down the, the list here. We, we did, buy we records, as stated. Uh, Lefty Works, which is a <coughs> wonderful River West-based ba- handmade bike bag and gear company. Uh, he's a member of the polo scene, which is a pretty nice. rare thing. That's something so. we should get on the show is some more polo action. Yeah, absolutely. We we talked about it before the pandemic a few times, but we, by the way, this is our 249 show. We've been doing this for a while. Man, we next week will be 250. <laughs> Y'all. Let him let him finish the list here. Um, I will never, Mr. Never. Glasses guy. <laughs> We're closing in on the end. I swear. Right? Now he's got the glasses on. <laughs> We're never actually all, derailed. God, I We're hope just, my glasses are in my. Well, bike. let me ask you this: Do you need them to see? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you took them off, what would happen? Oh my God, he's blind. I'm not and completely blind, but I have no idea who you actually are. look like. Solar glasses. Yes, you do. I mean, I do obviously because I can know. Can you see you, this right yeah, here? Yeah, I can. All you right. the fucking <laughs> thing. There okay. you go. Oh, All right, again with the sponsors. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Lilliput, yet another independent <laughs> yeah, yeah, record, yeah, record well, store. Record yep. store throwing down some cool stuff. This does um, not taste <laughs> illegal at all. Nope, 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 nope. Fully yeah. legal here. <laughs> Uh, and, yeah, we do have a promise of some libations uh, up at the Uptowner. So Stephen will be, you know, uh, attending the bar <laughs> with the finest. What a great being, that man. Yeah, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's, he's often stuff. commented as being a good guy. He was yelling a podcast. lot yesterday at a bike that we will never work on again. But okay. we, did go, up out. we did go up on the roof and watch the eclipse nice. for about a half an hour with a beer or two. And Hell hands. Not quite legal. We haven't talked this, about the Not eclipse. this legal stuff. We were up there with the, in, the others. I love the others. But, right. uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Okay, so we got We Buy Records, Lefty Works, Can I, Kind Oasis, Daily Bird, Truly Spoken, Center Street Gift, or Sense Gifts on Center Street, Fish Burgers, Three Tall Pines, uh, Rock House. That covers it, right? I love yeah. me rock some Rock House. house. Yeah, we should definitely mention. You know, um, you used to be in that building back when we were kind of cool as a bike shop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shop. Back in my yeah. day, yeah, Rusty really started cook. out this. I fixed some bikes in that <laughs> but shop. But Rusty, <laughs> that's where this show started. But Rusty yeah. is the shit for sure. Yeah. yeah. Also, I heard he has dead finger. He has a dead finger vinyl, which Dude, I probably ought to go buy. If he, if it's the one, oh shit! I heard it uh, last week. Um, you know, you just like listen to music in the background, and all of a sudden you're like, wow! Like all the time. I know, you know, just well. In the background, not paying really attention. No. It's like, oh, shit. Wait, I know this song. And it was fucking, uh, sun ain't gonna shine anymore. Like, old like, share and crazy shit like that. But it was right. Dead Finger doing it. Oh, no. <laughs> and they fucking kill it. Did you see this right here? I, that's what was alarming me. That's why I clinked. I know it's a different. Thing. It's a different one than was up there before. <laughs> I wanted to mount the TV. This before is like the show, but I didn't get guys, to it. Man. So 
I mean, I'm going to take that TV there, slap it on the wall over here. This is going to end up being like the clown in the corner in Poltergeist. I think it might just end up on that wall because, <laughs> yeah. like, because that's actually another set over there. But no one knows. Speaking of which, where is Matt Gates? Okay, I get you. I get yeah, you. but we where, could put these where is phallic Matt Gates? symbols. Is this a- Speaking of phallic symbols, where is Matt Gates? Mm-hmm. Uh, He's Matt, over there. Oh, uh, Matt Gates is on top oh, of the rubber. Yeah. Fuck him. Grab him. Show him to the camera. Yep. That's Fuck Matt him. Right there. Or yeah. throw him. He, he's he's <laughs> or, kind of a fucking child kind molester. Of star of the show. I kind of want to put him in a blender like yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll I mean, the, you know you I, can stick your finger right up his butt right, right there. Right up there. Right he would like butt. that. He would like that. I'm certain of it. Yeah. Well, I just don't know what poor character. I don't know what poor character that, that is. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, guy, no, no, that's yeah. fine. But you gotta own it. But, you can't yeah. be like, I don't love that. Early thing. in my radio career, be- as a uh, intern with frickin' Julio, uh, Julio at the <laughs> at great ninety one point one hundred four three two one one oh two one. There we go. I, I knew. I'd and get he to was it. like, he's like. Take the Scooby Doo character and the Shaggy character and throw them in a blender on the air with like this and like I did, <laughs> and it kicked out part of the uh, the, the thing the, the cross or whatever the, the hell it is yeah well just a piece of it and it hit him in the face as he's on the air Jeez. thinking I like threw it at him. <laughs> Uh, as so, well he should. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, no, of course not. Who would have thought you that what? something bad would have, Yeah. Awesome. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Before you reminisce too far back at 30 years ago history. Um, <laughs> so are we good with sponsors? Yeah, and, I think Hunter, uh, because of the sponsors, and not being uh, too much of a space cadet here. Um, okay. Right. We talked about a 1 p.m., which yep. I think is very like, are people coming in from out of town like any well, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh people, do you have or pre-reg? Chicago people. We, or? All right, so I can give you the rundown. We're trying to pad the actual start time. So 1 p.m. meetup starts. Manifests are passed out at two. Event starts at three. Uh, since there's probably going to be a lot of first timers to an actual alley cat, we're going to give them time to try to untangle the web we've weaved, uh, as well as ask any questions that may occur to them. Um, so yeah, 1 p.m. is. Check in, registration, ID check, get your shirt, get your stuff, get everything in order. 2 p.m. manifest go out. 3 p.m. is go time. 6 p.m. is finish line at the Uptowner, and awards are at 7. Right on. I like that it's, you know, like if, uh, so remember the steel is real. It was on a Saturday. And then we started at some ridiculous hour like 10 a.m. And then we were on the river until 4 a.m. with Zito in a Duffy boat (laughs) and having a great time. Because he did a he did a one year anniversary the I day before the steel is real like oh, a dick because yes. <laughs> everybody is fucking hammered the next day yeah and it turned into a shit show and I never did another one because people complained too much so you know what Checks out. fuck off that's why we're not doing another steel is why'd real. you bring up Zito or we might do it well the MMI was or in the we air. might yeah, do this it. is why okay okay somewhat <laughs> dot, I, mean, dot, I remember dot. sitting at JMO's with him on some some <laughs> MMI stops in the past it's like why are we doing it here he's like. Well, why wouldn't you do it here? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there was yeah, a I there is a I logic you have to just voice, kind of match after a bit. We should ding, do it. Ding, 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 yeah. ding. Yeah. All right, you know what? Um, I want to mention two other things before we mm. stop this nonsense. Um, Since we're way over, we're um, stop it. Uh, we started at like okay. six after, so we're. Suppose, there's one thing I can mention about the race real quick. Oh, okay. There's only 25 Von Munns shirts, so get there. Early. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Von Mons has been gracious enough to agree. You did not start with that? I didn't. I forgot. No, I think we it's a good best No, no, last. no, no. Bury it at the end where you nobody know, will hear gotta it. Listen, this, I got to get there to be number 24. The, yeah. There's Von Mons design shirt. Limited run Von Mons design shirts. Blue Leaf. Jesus, Jesus God, that's available. unbelievable. That's Fucking unbelievable. Yep. We tried to do our homework, that, man. That yeah. is. There you go. That's right there. That's worth the price of admission. Oh, and yeah. then some. You get a bag of herb, a Von Munn's shirt, and a hell of an afternoon. What more do you want from a Saturday, man? Mm, blowjob, baby. Well. So, well. Come on. <laughs> oh, this show has well, gone straight Sorry, down. honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I s- smoke some non-legal. I mean, legal stuff. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? If you wow. listen to the show, you, you know what you're going to get anyway. So yeah. after, after 249 of these things, <laughs> it really hasn't changed that much. Um, okay, so two real quick things. Uh, 
May 4th, Osage, <laughs> Iowa, May Day Mayhem is going to be the bomb. You fuckers what? should go. No, I'm going to go. I have registration for the River West 24. Uh, Make Damien do it. Yep, yep. What? Or someone. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be there. Who it is going to be... sleep out overnight? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, those? I'm going to go well, to. I spent a lot of nights I've next still, to you in the park. I slept out every year, dude. Yeah, I, I only got in the tail All end. Right. But, but, but I delivered I delivered. Notwithstanding Tony and his, you know, obligation to get the team registered, this is a great event. It's a clunker event, single speed, coaster break. Otherwise, don't bring it. And their trails are awesome. There's only nice. a few sketchy sections where having a coaster break is like super intimidating and the trees come up really fast. Other than that, it's along the Cedar River. There's about, I don't know, 60, Wait. 80 feet of elevation. So it kind of goes up and down and up and down and up and down <laughs> over the <laughs> undulating. Not, yes, it undulates. Do, do the so trees, you're correct, sir. Do hey. the trees come up Occasional fast? Occasional mic sits. When you're riding a coaster break or do they come up? Oh, fucking fast. No, they're they slacky. Fast. That's okay. What no, I mostly they're slacky. Because on a coaster, that can be freaking no. harrowing. I know. What I hate about a coaster break is, like, you, I want to reset my feet. But I always have to go forward to do it. I, I, you know, which means you're going faster then instead of slower. <laughs> you're so in your head on a clunker. It's fucking, I it's know. crazy, it's, but man. I love I'm just like, it's, uh, it's a blast. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. No, and I hear, okay, moment, here's one sad. more one more tip on the clunker thing. Do not have thick slicks on your clunker. You're going to want some tread. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Because <laughs> that seems like Those things sense. suck so bad on ice, I can't even tell you how bad they suck on ice. They're not made for ice. Tony's a witness. I've ridden those things everywhere, and then suddenly ice is going to put me on the ground. Ice yeah. puts everyone you know, you on You know what I don't like about ice? That. Everything puts everything on ice. All right, and the other thing is, this is the, the, the last thing, and then we'll probably maybe <laughs> stop talking. September 20th to September 22nd, Levis Mounds, Wisconsin, up there near Black River Falls, is both uh, Single Speed Wisconsin and Gnome Fest 20 some thousandth, whatever the fuck it is. Thing. That's two yes. weeks after my birthday. It is, if you haven't ridden Levis, it's one of the, it's the best kept secrets in, in the Midwest. It's awesome. Yeah. Plus, there'll be about 200 people camping there. Mm hmm. <laughs> Fun and stuff. So, uh, this Green Mile business is right up the same vein. It absolutely is. As going there to uh, the, the, Lettuce Mounds. I'm going to throw this in real quick before the show's over, but I actually watched someone. You always have cook. to have the last word. Yep. Um, <laughs> who, I, I watched someone, we are not going to say his name, but he's been on the show, who cooked a pound of bacon in two pounds of butter at the Gnome Fest. Why I is that at. a bad idea? It's not. No. Uh, you know, not you Frying up there, MCs man. like a pound of bacon. First of all, you know what I can <laughs> what? eat? <laughs> I, can, I can eat Dude, bacon. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. I can eat butter. You know what I can't eat? Anything bread. I, can, I, I will tell you right off the bat. I need to be a protein it, guy. It was that's pretty delicious. The way it worked. It was pretty. All nice. right, fuck you thought. guys. That's, that's all this. That's fuck all we you got. Fuck you guys. I'm going home. Unless, unless, <laughs> uh, unless our home. guests have something else to say. Otherwise, uh, it's. We'd love to thank you for your time, uh, both you guys and the listeners out there. This was awesome. And you can tell Chewie to go fuck himself too. Oh yeah. You yeah. know what we after should do? Party at Uptowner. Oh, be after there, party at Uptowner. Towner, Towner. Party at Uptowner. We should get everybody that listens to the show just to say fuck you, Chewie. That'd be awesome. You know how he can't do it? Because he doesn't have technology. Right. I got it. We should do that. Oh, by the way, yeah. a Fuck lot you, of... Chewy. a lot. Maybe I'll put this in for next week. A lot of people called in that couldn't make the show and said, thanks, guys, you fucking rule. Nice. That's I'm, cool. I know. I'll, I'll put him in the thing next week and whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. They can stroke our ego. Bunch of stoners. You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah. bye. Where you guys suck. Off, Thank you. Good night. Let's kick some stoner ass.